Welcome to Artisanal Premium Cheese. Today we're going to discuss pairing cheeses and wines. The fundamentals come down to some fairly simple rules. Usually a mild cheese works better with a mild wine. A bigger cheese needs a bigger wine. Otherwise the cheese can overwhelm the wine. The salter the cheese is, the sweeter the wine should be. Or the more savory cheeses prefer the fruitier kinds of wine. As an example, here we have a uh, very gentle, fresh, young, uh, fairly simple, but not boring goat's milk cheese from Provence, Rouve de Garrigue. And here we're pairing it with a sparkling wine. A cava from Northeast Spain, sparkling wine, very much like a champagne. And then we'll see how this second cheese, a pressed sheep's milk cheese, works with this wine from Provence. The wine is a, made with Viognier. Viognier is a grape. We'll move on to an even bigger cheese made with cow's milk. The next cheese is an alpine cow's milk cheese, cooked, pressed, aged, mountain style of cheese. Very dense, bigger, heftier, so it needs a bigger wine. And I think that we'll find that the good pairing partner for this uh, cheese is a Primitivo from southern Italy, a good fruity Primitivo. Then finally, we'll have a blue cheese. This is a Fourme d'Ambert from south central France. As with most blues, it is a little bit salty. And so it will play off probably more successfully with this port. We have a 10-year tawny port here. And then we have the balance of fruit and savory and the persistence of the blue that will linger as long as the uh, port lingers in the mouth. Now for the fun part, let's see how these cheese and wine pairings work. First, the Rode de Garrigue with the cava. In the sparkling wine, The effervescence, the lightness, they play off each other beautifully. It brings out some of the peppery flavor in the Rove de Garrigue. Lovely match. Great finish, too. Now, for the medium cheese, the Manchego. With the Viognier. Exotic. It brings out flavors in the Viognier that I didn't appreciate before. Now for the Boulder cheese, we have the Gruyere. With the Boulder flavored wine, the Primitivo. Outstanding. And now for the strongest cheese, uh, the Fourme d'Ambert, the blue. Blues being a little saltier, they do play off of the uh, sweeter wines. So we have the uh, Cow's Milk Blue from Southern France, the Fourme d'Ambert, and the Tawny Port. Phenomenal. A great match. As I've just shown you, the cheese clock is a great tool for pairing cheeses and wines.